Hello again everyone, it's me Johnny. I want to thank you for checking out my channel. And today I'm going to talk about a love letter. And this conversation uh, was brought on by, or topic was brought on by a lecture I did where I asked the audience one simple question. And the question uh, was, and the question is today, if you were to write a love letter to yourself, how would it read? Think about that. If you were to write a love letter to yourself, how would it read? And of course there were a couple like, whoa, you know, because as you heard me say before in other videos, you know, we're wired to love. If you believe in the good book that God is love and you're created in his image and his likeness, then everything about you is wired to love. No one has to teach you how to love. Every one of your cells are wired to love. So in saying that, one thing you're going to thirst through throughout your lifetime is to be loved and to give love. See, love has a currency. You know, you can have uh, whatever value you place on it. If I was to show you a $10 bill, it has the currency of $10, okay, depending on what you believe. Okay, let's just say it, it does. So you can buy anything up to ten dollars with a ten dollar bill US currency yeah if you believe that um, but your love has a currency so if your love has a currency the question is is that how much do you value loving yourself what's the value that you put on loving yourself first not in a selfish way these are some of the things that I learned on my cancer journey. It's how much time I spent caring about me, giving, making sure everybody else was taken care of, but forgetting about me. All right, And I believe that one of the things that I had to deal with was self and learning how to love me, learning how to love this gift of life, this blessing that I was given. And like I said, for me, when I look at cancer, uh, by the decisions that I made, you know, it just didn't happen overnight. Cancer is not like an overnight thing. Um, it's a process. And sometimes we live at a level where we're so numb with pain. You know, we look for different things to try to satisfy ourselves, but we're so numb with rejection because we're used to it. In my case, mine didn't start. Mine started out very young. And I deal with it. And I accept it and I understand it. And one thing that I did, did learn is learning to love me putting a value on how much I love myself is a big difference from there I started changing and I made changes to what I eat and what I put in my body how I spend my time because the most precious commodity that you'll have in your lifetime well is time you can never get time back and these are things that I had to learn when I wrote a love letter to myself not how I wanted someone else to treat me, but how I demanded, put a demand on how I treated myself. It's the best way I can explain it to you. Who I spend time with, who I socialize with, how much time I spend on the internet. Uh, do I watch any TV? No, zero. I, I'm zoned out, just living life at a different level, taking care and letting my body heal naturally. One of the first things I had to do was analyze my own self. The hardest thing you're going to deal with in your lifetime is the man in the mirror. And there's different stages where you can blame everything. I could play the, put the blame on everybody else of why I got a diagnosis the way I did. But the reality is, I did it to myself. To me, cancer is, is a slow suicide. You're killing yourself slowly. Could be the food you eat, the toxic environment, feeling unfulfilled in life, not going after the true thing that you really wanted all your life because your destiny your passion the thing you're destined to do always pulls you from the time you're born it's like a magnet everything you need to be successful in life you've already been given some of us never tap into it life is a gift but yet we never open it so if you were to write a love letter to yourself how would it read how would you put a demand on how people treated you? How would you put a demand on the job you're seeking? How would you put a demand on the career path you chose to take? 
if you truly loved yourself first? Not in a selfish way. Would you put more healthy options on your plate when you uh, chose to eat? Would you go to sleep at the proper time knowing that you're trying to fulfill your destiny and your plan and your purpose, whatever that may be? See, sometimes we look at uh, give our love away with nothing in return and we stay there and we settle. Sometimes we put up with toxic relationships. Why? Because when we put up with stuff like that, inside of us, we've become so used to that, being treated like that, it becomes numb and it becomes a standard when you're better than that. The good book says you're perfect, uh, wonderful, fearfully and wonderfully made. You're precious. There's no one else on the planet just like you. No one else that can do the things that you do just like you do. You're called with a purpose and uh, uh, a purpose and a plan with your life. The thing about living in this dimension of time, because I believe we live in a dimension of time yet eternity at the same time, is figuring out who you are and what what's your path, what you're calling. And you're not gonna look, you're not gonna find that out by watching 10 hours of TV. That comes for the inward journey, from the inward journey. Looking in self, not blaming anyone else, but looking into self and taking responsibility for the actions that I made. You know, for me, eating a lot of junk food, not sleeping, staying up three nights, doing all these other things, going to different cities to party didn't pan out when inside I never felt fulfilled never and I look at this blessing this thing called life that I have and for me it's a second chance to live my life I'm so happy that I'm learning more about how to love me how to take care of myself things that I really enjoy doing from walks on the beach to horseback riding whatever it is things I really love doing and not wasting time your most precious gift on deadless relationships, on people who don't respect you, who don't value you, who don't celebrate the true person who you are. Especially if you're living in the closet and you're trying to numb yourself with food or drugs, alcohol, not sleeping, anxiety attacks, owning a company that you're just stressed out over all the time. Is that really your passion? Maybe that's not the company for you. Maybe there's something else for you. Write it out and look at it. I want to thank you for checking out my channel. God bless you. And remember, if you write a love letter to yourself, just think about how you really want to be treated. Not by someone else, but by you. God bless you. Love you. Thanks for reaching out. Bye-bye.